hello guys uh, welcome to today's task so today we are going to create a deployment uh, in the jump host of an Oculus so first we want to create a namespace under which we want to create this deployment use the command uh, qkettl create ns which is namespace and uh, the namespace name once this is done uh, we want to create a sample deployment file using the dry run option Before that, let's try to install the bash completion so that upon pressing the tab, the uh, command or the variable automatically uh, shows or comes up. So use the command uh, m install bash hyphen completion hyphen y. So even in the Kubernetes exam, it is recommended that you first complete the installation of uh, bash completion. Once uh, the installation is complete we want to uh, provide the source so first uh, let us locate where the bash even completion is as you can see it is in user share bash completion uh, give the command source space user space bash user slash share slash bash even completion slash bash underscore completion then uh, give the command source cube cutter completion bash Once this is complete, uh, let us first uh, try to create a deployment sample file using the dry run option. The name space which we want to create and then create deployment, deployment name. The reason why we want to create a dry run option is we want to save the time instead of uh, going through the trouble of creating a YAML definition file from the scratch. We are just going to create a dry run uh, client option and then we are going to edit this YAML file, provide the image name and uh, the content report which in this case is 8080. Hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run hyphen o YAML. We want to output this through a YAML file, give the name of the YAML file which we want to use looks like we have to create this in the home directory of Thor if you like the video please click on like subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that I can keep producing more content the parameter which we given the hyphen hyphen container hyphen port seems to be wrong so let's correct it let's just give a support says a dry run is uh, deprecated and you have to use hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run is equal to client however the yaml definition file has been created make the changes as required here we just want to edit the name of the container which should be tomcat hyphen container hyphen nautilus save and quit the file now create the file using kubectl create hyphen f and the definition file once this is created, we want to create a service for the same. Use the command kubectl expose deployment, the namespace. Give the option hyphen n and the namespace name, which is tomcat hyphen deployment hyphen nautilus. And then we want to give the name of the deployment, which is a tomcat deployment nautilus. And then uh, we want to name the service as tomcat hyphen service hyphen nautilus as per the task. The reason why we want to make sure everything we do is through the command line is because we want to save up the time rather than creating it from scratch. And then we want to give the type as node port 
make sure that n and p are capital the port should be 80 give the command hyphen hyphen port space 80 and also the target port hyphen hyphen target hyphen port which in this case uh, will be 8080 press enter now we are going to edit this uh, service because by default the node port is con uh, configured randomly so we do not have control over it so services are few objects in kubernetes which can be modified so let's edit the service and uh, let's change the node port to 32227 as requested in the task again these parameters can be dynamic so please keep that in mind so I went quit so that the service file is automatically modified you can see that uh, service has been edited click on finish and uh, then confirm Thank you for joining me today. See you in the next one.